back to facts. I barely need no to be a very dumb. The fact this is my theme show. Let me say this again. Welcome back. Facts are valid. Need no to be a very dumb. This is my theme show. In fact, I need you guys not to be too proud. Pull the pride to like and subscribe. You did. Anywho, back to you with plenty of news. So here we go. What I do the most. Not to brag or boast, but this do it. Anyway, we're here to give you response to Fat Joe's going off on Earl Got It. Earl Got It response to Fat Joe making his comment about the Shanti interview he did on Drake Champs. So, let's get into this, guys. Let me say that again. You're hearing this exclusively on Facts. A Valley Nino the Bear Berry Dawn theme show. Like how I came up. Just felt me telling my story would give people more insight of who I am as a person, who I, how I came up. And you know, if if I can inspire a few young executives to, to do it, that's all great too. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt the timing of it all was correct. Take a second. Speaking of that, one of your longtime friends yesterday goes by the name of Fat Joe. He called you a sucker for talking about all of this stuff 20 years later. How you feel about that? I know you saw that's it. That's, that's, that's some fucked up like shit for a friend. Not my friend. Whoa. I was cool, but in life. I apologize, you guys. Let me start over just a little bit more for talking during the conversation. I'm going to give you commentary after. And you guys get to hear what as a person, who I, how I came up, and you know, if, if I can inspire a few young executives to, to do it, that's all great too, you know what I'm saying, so I just felt the timing of it all was correct, six seconds. Speaking of that, one of your longtime friends yesterday goes by the name of Fat Joe. He called you a sucker for talking about all of this stuff 20 years later. How do you feel about that? I know you saw it. Man, I, I feel like he fooled me. He's not my friend. Whoa. I was fooled, but in life, you get fooled. But, but you know what? It, <laughs> what? They don't want you to say that? But in life, I, forget, forget Joe, because they don't want me to talk about Joe. Okay, so I'm okay. Talking about Joe. I'm talking about life, right? And in life, everyone goes through friends. You thought was your friend. I'm not talking about you. Let me let me talk. So in life, I've had countless friends come and go. But you know what remains consistent and why I get through with all of this? Why? My family. Because I don't really need friends. You know, I don't really need friends. I'm more than content with going home and spending time with my mom. Like I'm a weird dude like that. I guess that's weird, right? I'd rather I'd rather be at home with my mom laughing and joking my brothers and sisters. It's something that my mother used to say because I, I grew up in Jamaica, Queens, right? So it was the crack epidemic, everything. So my mother used to always say when I was a little boy, don't don't play with nobody. Play with your brothers and sisters because it was safe. You know what I'm saying? And I, that kind of like stuck with me. Mm. But then also, I, I accept people and I embrace people as my family. Everyone who's around me, who's my close friends, I see my family. You know what I'm saying? That they're my extended family. So friends, you know, it happens. They come and go. You know, people may be jealous of you on the low. You know, I just signed a deal for 300 million. I know certain people who's my friends, my so-called friends, they may be mad at that. They may <laughs> have some jealousy and envy with that. And that's cool. We ain't got to be friends no more. I'm totally fine with my me and my, my immediate family. I don't need any new friends or any old friends who pretended they was my friends. But they revealed themselves. They're not my friends. Question, do you regret? Ashanti on a Drinks Champ interview and revealing this relationship that y'all had. When I said I was going to do the doc, I said to myself, you're not going to do another doc. So this is it. When I agreed with BET on giving them my doc, I said to me and I said to everyone who was a part of my doc, which is every one of my artists, everyone who worked for me, they're all on the doc. And I said, hey, guys, girls, tell your truth. Even if it's even if it saying bad things about me, say it. I said, because I don't want, I watch countless documentaries where I know the story, and I'm like, yo, they lying. Yo. Oh, okay. It didn't happen that way. And they're lying. And I'm just not that guy. The one thing that you got to know about me is I am cool in my gangster. I am cool with who I am as a person. So 
I that gives me the ability to talk about things that the normal person won't talk about. I don't care. I don't care. It's my truth. It's my life. It's my story. This is what happened. Now, if you're mad about that, if you're mad that I had relationships, or if you're mad that I had this, or if you're mad that I divorced my wife, or whatever like that, you know, that makes you angry, I'm sorry. But I didn't want to be married no more and treat Norna like a, a savage. So I told her, I told Deb my truth. Yo, I, I'm, I'm treating bad in it, yo. And it was her that said, okay, thank you for that. Thank you, because now I feel better, but you gotta, you gotta leave. <laughs> and I said, okay. And we raised beautiful children. You know, I, everyone gets, how did you say all of this with your kids? My kids know exactly who their dad is. They know I'm crazy as a mother. They know I'm going to say whatever is my truth. They know everything. And you know what else? They love me to death. Mm. And I love them more. You understand? So when y'all say, oh, your daughter, and you, what if this happens to you? I'm like, what? Well, y'all wish you bad shit to my daughter now? Okay, that's cool. That's happening to my daughter. Because my daughter is the coolest, most beautifulest person in the world. You know what I'm saying? She's a cute, cool, beautiful person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who's now rich. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you're mad at that, if you're mad at me being rich, guess what? You're going to get madder. Okay. Shout out to Earl Gotti. Nice interview. I love the interview. Love the energy. Um, I wanted to get more consistent. I wanted to say this is the same... Captain Fat Saber Ho Joe, they call it Lil Mo, a crackhead on live television. We want to reiterate that shit again. Fat Joe, my man, I love Fat Joe. You know what I'm saying? But to call Lil Mo a crackhead on live television, get no play, no way, Jose. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You need to, you need to. We need, we as community, Fat Joe need to go back to the lab community and do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Do this shit in the Latin community. You get no play in the black community with that shit. And I'm going to say this right now. Don't, the worst that way to end a friendship is to butt in a conversation with no type of condemnation of what's really going on in that nature. You know what I'm saying? Really make you look like some kind of, you know, bird just flying in a no-fly zone. Just to be honest with you, you just really you don't really get the issue. And that's what it really is. Because Earl was your man, your friend. How could you stab a friend in the back? Now let's get back to Fat Joe. Since I'm talking to Fat Joe. I agree with Herb. Herb didn't get a chance. If you listen to what he said, he didn't get a chance to do the doc because everyone had so many things going on within the doc. So he always felt he would give an exclusive interview whatever that will be the last of his doc you know what i'm saying so in the documentary he felt it's to you know to tell the truth so to be honest some people feel like he he raised like don't want to say it like that but she ashanti wouldn't have much without earth got it she went to plenty of other labels they could not do with murder inc they could not redo their song they could not do, redo the sound that she was looking for, she had. They could not rejuvenate her career. They could not. And it's, it's, it's factual proof. Like, she done signed with a few other like, and they all have, you know, a few complaints about Ashanti. With that being said, I think the best move for her was always to ride it out with Mur Murdering. And she know that. Not, not looking back at it, Earl still doing things, Ja still making money. And she is, she on up and, she on up and under. One minute she's up and one minute she's under. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're under. I can't do it. I'm like, I'm, I want to roll with the up. You know what I'm saying? If I was loyal to the up, if she was loyal to that movement, basically what I'm saying, basically what I'm saying really here, listening, like, honestly, if she was loyal, we got all nothing but love with Shanti, for Shanti. But for Fat Joe to say what he said, like, oh, he's a sucker for saying this, Dude, you're known for disrespecting black women. Let's reiterate this again. You call Lil Mo a black crackhead on live television in front of billions of viewers. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, so I guess it's your way of making it up to the community. I don't know. 
but you know you're really sucking at what you're doing you're really sucking and i said that but say this i hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and i want to say this before i leave herb god is not sour at all he has nothing but compassion for his orders and they put shanti in a good place to win and murder him with that being said like i did not know shanti was involved in like the industry when i'm not talking about just herb god like when she went with nearly a lot of her dirt and laundry started to come out the gloves so you know i said that to say this and i'm gonna, I'm gonna say this last thing my friend showed me a video and it wasn't nothing i thought i would see about ashanti so with that being said herb is not too far-fetched because it was rumors of Jaru and ashanti we forget about those as well so with that being said i just hope you guys enjoyed the commentary like i say don't be too proud for the prize and like and subscribe yeah it's facts